30 is definitely a hard worker and he's a hard nosed defender. And once he develops more offensively, it's going to be a problem. And I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, okay. Since you brought up 30 now. Okay. So that's Kobe. Okay. We agree that he has one of the or the highest ceiling out of all the players that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. I think we can agree that he's not there yet, but he's going to get there. Um, 30. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm biased when I say this, but I wasn't too happy with how San and Phoenix used 30. I believe that they don't really know how to use him or maximize his talent. Uh, he's not really the guy whom you can just give him the basketball and just go to work. Because when he played for Ateneo, he was more of a leader. He did everything on both ends, but he never really had those isolation, except in the finals. Okay. Except in the finals where he scored 30 mm -hmm. every game. But I believe that when I was watching them, they didn't really use him as much. Okay, maybe injuries came mm -hmm. on and injuries happened, uh, unwanted injuries, but I think they can maximize him a little bit more. What do you say about that? This is what they're paying him for. So whatever the coach needs you to yeah. do, that's what you have to do. you got to make adjustments. You know, so they give you the ball and they tell you to go. Then they tell you to go. I was never an isolation player, but guess what? Coach John told me to go. That's what <laughs> they're paying me for. And I have to go find a way, you know, and I think that's, that was very, very good for him to be in that situation because now he has experience mm -hmm. You understand in that mm -hmm. situation. So I know after the season, what he, what the work that he has put in was, to be able to become a better isolation player, mm -hmm. you know? And now, you know, we'll see on the upcoming season how, you know, he put that into play.